are these people? We, we know now that after 20 months of the war, Ukraine's Western backers are discussing Kiev's opening dialogue with Moscow since the talks in the early months of the conflict. Russia has annexed four regions of Ukraine. They got everything they want. They got the Donbass. They got Crimea. They have mm -hmm. everything that's connected to the sea. They have everything they needed. And it was just like they said two years ago. They're taking the Donbass. They're taking Crimea. They're taking the Russian population speaking people. And it's that's it. There's still people out here saying that that Putin wants to conquer the world. And they're yep. serious. <clears throat> and it, it's been like a year and a half. Meanwhile, we're over here funding a war with a fucking genocidal maniac who kills more who's killed more kids than 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 Putin has in a year and a half. More kids yeah, but... in, more kids in any conflict in the past like three decades. Mm -hmm. But this is um <clears throat> This so is how it always plays on the table. But yeah. This is how it always plays out. Um, you see the tides start to turn with these sort of things, but if you'll notice, the tides always turn like the narrative shifts after one group of fucking donors or another gets their huge payday. So at this point with Ukraine. They don't Which mind kind of letting letting the cat, cat out of the bag because the military industrial complex are has already been oh my god like they ran away with they ran away stock clean with your tax money so let me ask you like you're a u.s taxpayer well, not you specifically but like you know, in the audience as a u.s taxpayer you are actively so this is the deal that they're presenting to you Hey, we're we're we just need a couple of your tax dollars because remember we, we covered that video there where he was just like, oh, you Zelensky's like, oh, just give us some credit. We'll pay you back. We pay you back with the credit that like he, they're begging for our tax money. And imagine me coming up to you and being like, hey, listen, we, we you know, we really need your help. We just need a, a, a couple hundred billion dollars and. <laughs> You know, I, I know that it's been a year and a half and that we've only gotten this one block back and that there's no hope left and that you're running out of shells and you're running out of military equipment and that there's no money left and there's another war going on that's more that you're more dedicated to. But please, please, can uh, how about how about you spend you give me four hundred fifty billion dollars and then I go and throw hundreds of thousands of men in the meat grinder into a wall, essentially, and then just destroy my country. <laughs> can I have can I have some money to fuck up my country? That like, that's not a great like, budge. Like, like yeah, like so like so this doesn't like this was from the beginning a very confusing like we, we told everyone that this wasn't happening. Ukraine didn't stand a chance. Everyone from Scott Ritter to the fucking like uh, Douglas, Douglas MacArthur, who, who I don't always trust because he says some wild shit about Turkey. He said like, so like everyone trusts that like Douglas Smith or MacArthur guy, but like he, he thinks like Turkey's like some like power. He's they're, they're going to like invade Israel or something like that. He's, I don't know, some crazy wild shit. That's but, it's a little on the weird side, but just okay. imagine, just imagine throwing away <laughs> your country. So this came out so over the weekend. Bad. This is a hot. This is the top official. This is the truth, folks. This is this is the, this is the top official of Ukraine. This and is a, the honest to dog yeah. truth. Honestly, he, he's 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 high up in the ranks, folks. This is not this is not a Russian Putin puppet. Okay, this is a Zelensky trusted official. Okay, listen to this. Oh, when we came back from Istanbul, Boris Johnson to Kiev and said that we are not. So, remember that Turkey peace deal back in, back in June. Mm-hmm. We will not sign anything with them. Let's make war. Let them eat war. We won't sign anything. 
And for what? For what exactly? які до особового складу Збройних сил України. А він сказав, що стоїть підпис керівника делегації. Так Путін стверджував. Чому ж він не оприлюднив цей документ? Ви звернули увагу? Вони дійсно, дійсно, майже до останнього сподівали, що вони нас дотиснуть на підписання такої угоди. Щоб ми взяли нейтралітет. Це було найбільше для них. Таким нейтралітет? Я думав, що Путін хотів конкурити світ. Yeah, that that's not a really good world domination strategy. That's <clears throat> like I wouldn't play you wouldn't play that way in Civ, would you? Wait, he wanted so you're telling me the evil dictator Putin Hitler stash wanted to conquer and instead he 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 signed a peace deal that was just telling them to be neutral? Wow. Wait, and you mean the actual world conquerors told Ukraine not to do it? Weird. Wow, you we Guys, really <clears throat> so we could have done this, we could have handled this a hundred like nine hundred miles of, of land before ago. Yeah. Uh, but that's that's but the I, thing. Like <clears throat> they, they always project because the actual people who want to take over the world are they have to project that onto any other faction. They're the ones that want to take over the world. Putin wants to take it over. And of course, we all know what's underneath all of this. It's the boogeyman of the West. It's it's the shadow of the USSR. This is just this is just like leftover red scare shit. That's all this has ever been. And that's all it ever will be. Now it's Putin and Hamas. <clears throat> yep. Putin, Putin Hamas. Now there's there's a lot of talk around going around about Putin and Hamas gang together. I don't know about that, but I, I'm just waiting for conservatives to be like Hamas apparently. wants to bring back the USSR. Ah, well, apparently, did you see that tweet? Like, uh, they released a Russian hostage because uh, they were like thanking President Putin. Mm. So you have Hamas simping for Putin out in public. I don't know how that's going to roll out. They were ready to end the war and they just want a neutrality. Neutrality is the point. Денацифікацію, російське мовне населення і бла-бла-бла. Чому Україна не погодилася на цей пункт? По-перше, для того, щоб на цей пункт погодитись, треба змінювати Конституцію. Наш шлях до НАТО записаний в Конституції. По-друге, немає довіри, і не було, і немає росіян, що вони це зроблять. Це можна було тільки зробити, якщо є гарантії безпеки. Ну, ми ж не могли щось підписати, відійти, всі б там видохнули, а потім вони б зайшли більш підготовлені, бо вони зайшли насправді не підготовлені до такого супротиву. Тому ми могли тільки працювати, коли є 100% впевнені, що це не повториться вдруге. А такої впевненості немає. Більш того, коли ми повернулися з Істамбулу, приїхав Борис Джонсон до Києва і сказав, що ми взагалі не будемо з ними нічого підписувати. Wait, there was a peace deal? I thought that was Russian propaganda. <clears throat> no, it's 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 uh it wait, evolved. No, wait, wait, wait hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. I had some tanky nut job tell me a year ago that Boris Johnson destroyed a peace deal that was already signed between Ukraine and Russia, and he told me. I told him that 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 sounds like Putin propaganda. That sounds like you're a Putin puppet. Yep. Is that so? What what is what exactly is going on here? И давайте будемо просто. We will not sign anything with them. We'll just make war. That sounds like a good way to. Um... There was a peace deal in April 2022. Yeah. And that's exactly the point at which I fell off board with this whole bullshit. Because the second it became completely apparent what they were doing, remembering everything in the past and all the tactics that were employed throughout my long, unfortunate life, um, you know, that's the point where I'm like, all right, nobody actually gives a fuck. About, uh, yeah, okay. 
Okay. I get it. MIC, let's go. This is it. That's all because of this, all because of this, this fake clown. Can you imagine? Yeah, I, I would, that's, that's just depression. There's no other word for that. So here's, so here's Putin back in June of last year. I've been negotiating. All right. Russia, President Putin. Russia has never refused negotiations. David Arkhania, head of the Ukrainian delegation peace talks between Russia and Ukraine in 2022, fully confirmed everything we said about the draft peace treaty. Well, the draft of this treaty initiated I, by <clears throat> the negotiation group from Kiev. They put a signature there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I didn't even show it. Fuck. Sorry. The negotiation group from Kiev and they signed it. He's that that's a peace deal. That that's that's the peace deal. Mm -hmm. It's right there. It's there. It's not doing propaganda. These people don't think it's Putin propaganda. He he doesn't seem to think that's Putin propaganda. To the garbage dump of history. I just love, like, so... <laughs> I just love... To the garbage like, dump of history. There's some... There's 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 some things that like you know I'm not I'm not a Putin stan I'm not like you know Jackson Anklor or something but like um, the some of the things that Putin says like is very eloquent I will say that um <clears throat> I just think like um, <clears throat> I just think he kind of I think the one thing that frustrates the West the most about Putin is. In all of his interviews, it seems like he's got the West number. Seems like he kind of knows how the fucking game's played. Seems to completely know how it's played. Now, that doesn't mean he's uh, good or bad, because you should not be thinking like a child and thinking there's good guys and bad guys in the world, because the real world is a little more complicated than that. Yeah. It's but, not... but I think he's got the West's number. He always calls his shit out. And it seems to frustrate people to no end. And He's got him by the balls, dude. He, that like the best thing they can do is sanctions, and even that is making them making him as rich as, as a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. The ruble is as more power is four times as powerful as it was. They're doing better than they were from the beginning of this war. So yep. you you want to know where your where your tax money is going? Here's two yachts. This this kind of went under the radar, but like there, there's there's a lot of people. Who, I, I'm not. I, I can't attest to this 100, percent but I I want you guys to watch this. And I want you to see where where your tax where you can trace the money and show where your tax money is going. Hello, guys. My name is 
Shahzad Nasser. I'm here to share an interesting discovery of mine. Okay, so this is Abu Dhabi, the capital of United Arab Emirates. And this is Abu Dhabi Marina. It has hundreds of yachts. Some of them belong to billionaires and, and royal families. But the yachts that I'm going to tell you about, they don't belong to a royal family member or a billionaire. Please meet Lucky May, a 46 meter yacht built by Italian manufacturer Baglietto. Note the name of the ship, Lucky May. <laughs> According to this agreement, I have managed to acquire this vessel was purchased for almost 25 million dollars by Boris Schiffier on October 18, 2023. Boris Schiffier has a brother, Sergei Schiffier, who's according to this document acquired another even more impressive yacht, a 55 meter My Legacy yacht. It was built by Italian manufacturer Coda Casa. Here's a description that I found. The yacht with her four decks features big windows which let uh, the natural light into the interiors and, and, and make the exteriors elegant and eye-catching. With her large spaces, she ensures the best comfort and privacy to owners and guests, both inside and outside. A big jacuzzi pool is placed on the sun deck together with a huge sun bathing area. And the yacht was purchased for almost 50 million dollars a week later on October 25th. 2023. Now here's where it gets interesting. Both Boris and, and Sergei are Ukrainian citizens. Both are close friends with the president of Ukraine. Both are Zelensky proxies. Here's the photo of Boris. Here's the photo of Sergei. And between them is Vladimir Zelensky, the president of Ukraine. He just looks like a bigger and waterlogged Zelensky. <laughs> According to Wikipedia, since May 25th, 2019, Sergei serves as the first assistant to the president of Ukraine. So why do why do I think that both of uh, Shafir brothers are, are Zelensky proxies? In business terms, a proxy is an agent acting on behalf of another person. Generally, Proxies are used to discuss a person's ownership of assets or mask their involvement in certain business dealings. A leaked documents in the Pandora Papers truth reveals that Zelensky owned a stake in, in a shell company registered in the British Virgin Islands, the company called Maltex. In March 2019, just a month before he was elected president, Zelensky he, he transferred his shares to Sir Hay Shafir. Also, according to my source, who's been physically present when when the My Legacy Yacht the documents were signed, the yacht was referred to as Zelensky's Yacht. So, yeah, it is obvious that that a government employee like Sir Hay Shafir cannot afford to buy a fifty million dollars yacht, but it is possible for someone who's who's a close friend of the president of Ukraine. Over the last two years, U.S. has has directed more than hundred billion dollars to Ukraine with virtually an oversight. So it won't be difficult for Zelensky to embezzle a chunk of his money with this money and, and, and ask your trusted friend to buy a couple of luxury yachts in their names. So after all he has to get something for himself, right? Oh my fucking god, that's so good. I love it. I don't know, that checks out to <clears throat> me. Does that check out to you? That seems pretty verifiable to me um absolutely and these scumbags do this shit all the time yeah i know like i saw people in the comments like do, i saw so this got community noted this was like oh like the, uh, not not this video but like the some like tweet that was saying like oh this these are Zelensky's two yachts <clears throat> and then i went to the replies to go look for more information and i found the, this video and it was like sort it, it helped and it shows, shows all the sources it shows everything connected. You can make your own assumptions. I mean, but all the information is there. So, I mean, you can only draw your conclusions. Your money went to a $75 million yacht. Yeah. It's, <clears throat> your tax money. And for the Canadians watching, our tax money, too. Um, oh, yeah. Our tax money, too. Uh, that shit is going to... 
I mean, God, it's such a griff that it's not even like this isn't even hard it's to piece together anymore. anymore. It's just begging. It's just pure desperation. We we still this is John Kirby from yesterday. They're still saying this. We have to fight to the last Ukrainian. They're serious about this. Well, it's hilarious because it's like those aren't, bro. They're not like Pokemon. Or that's what they think they are. It's and, like they, and they're they not. Kill them all. This is like a big Pokemon <laughs> game, except the trainer. The trainer's the military industrial complex, and then the Pokemon are just other countries' fucking <laughs> people. <laughs> It is like that. Oh my God, Stanislavich, you! I chose you. Oh my God, just the, 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 so throw them out there. The, Ukraine's like the like the like the level three Caterpie that they caught. <laughs> they're like trying to like bring it over to like the like one of the gym battles, and like there's just like you know there's no hope. Like and Rush is just go, like a like a better maybe my dude. Listen to yeah, Ukraine. Ukraine strengthens our national security. It's the right thing. Does it? I don't think that's true. Thing to do, not just for the Ukrainian people. I don't think that's true well, either. No, but always think about it as like Russia bad, Red Scare. <laughs> oh, right, right. Specter of yeah. communism. That's that's yeah. what's all beneath this. So when you think of it in that way, yes, it does strengthen the national national security, according to these fucks, because <laughs> yeah. they need they need the the Western capitalist overlords to continue their dominance at all costs. They yeah. can't have any other factions in the game. Mm -hmm. So, makes sense on the that American level. people as well. Countering Putin's ability to wage war on a neighboring nation may actually prevent a larger conflict in which American troops might be needed. And it sends a strong signal to other would-be aggressors who may be considering military action and invasions of their neighbor's territory that that sort of action is unacceptable and they will pay the consequences. They will be held accountable by the United States and by the international community. Okay, I guess. They're, they're getting a worse deal now than... There, there's, no, there's, no, there's no better time to surrender than right now. But there's no chance of that in sight. I don't know what's going to happen. So we'll just wait for BlackRock to come in with the trillion dollar rebuild deal. I think it's already lined up already for BlackRock to come in there and go, you know, turn that shit into a 15 minute city like that. They're just going to turn the whole country into one big vaccine factory. <laughs> yeah, it'll be like a, it'll be like vaccine feudalism to like test all the like vaccines there. That's what like where like Paul Pouchy and like Bill Gates will like that's that's what like, they'll test like their AIDS vaccines and stuff. It's going to be cricket factories. They're going to be like, all right, all right, Vladimir, <laughs> we need you to test out this new candy corn cricket we're developing. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,